everybody on this steamy hot summer day. Hey, uh huh. So I just wanted to remind everybody the purpose of yoga is to bring our mind, body, and spirit into harmony. So that's what we're going to do. It doesn't take uh, difficult gymnastics. And when we, when we put effort into doing yoga, I would say please do a moderate effort, a medium effort. The 100% effort is to just keep bringing your mind gently back to what we're doing. Because our mind always likes to go somewhere else, you know, think about something else. When you notice that's happening gently, bring your mind back to what we're doing. And that's the core of yoga. So let's start by sitting up tall. I noticed um, at the end of the other conversation, um, a mention of fear about the virus. And so here's a mudra that can help us calm down, harmonize the fear, which is I'm just gonna hold, gently hold my um, pointer finger, either one. Just gently hold it in a comfortable way and sit tall and relax. Allow the shoulders to melt down without hunching the chest, just allow the shoulders to melt down. And just notice your breathing. Notice the air coming in through the nose and gently going out. You're already starting to meditate. Okay, one minute meditation. So now just start breathing a little bit more deeply. You can keep holding the pointer finger if you like. And see if you can bring the air all the way down to the back and bottom parts of your lungs. Notice what that feels like. Feel free to adjust your posture if it, that feels better. Keep the spine tall, let the shoulders relax. Now just gently open the eyes and notice what that felt like. What's, what's the effect? subtle effect, but you'll probably notice. Okay, so we can get a little bit more active breathing. I'm just scooting forward on my chair a little bit so my, I have my feet really clearly flat on the floor. And with we'll your Kundalini breathing. Now remember, anything that hurts, don't do it. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, stretch out. And down. And up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, stretch out. And down. And up. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, stretch out. And down. And up one more. Inhale, stretch way up. Exhale, stretch out. And down. Hands to the heart. And relax for a moment. And I'm just going to mention that this mudra that you see in many religions 
this is the, the center of the palm is where almost all of our um, energy channels go through. So touching the centers of the palms together really rejuvenates your body and mind. It's not necessary to do it in this way. Because it's like you are in What's that? You, you can also do it like this. You are like praying, praying. Yeah, it's like, it's like praying. Praying is one way to do it. It's not necessary to do it like this. Some people have a bad feeling because of religious experiences. It's also fine to touch like this. Or put the thumb in the middle like this. Whatever is more comfortable for your body and your mind. But this will help recharge the body and the mind, the, the centers of the palms. They're just interesting. So let's do the other way of Kundalini breathing. Inhale. Exhale, hands to the heart. And now this time, stretch way out. Inhale. And exhale, stretch up. And down. Inhale, stretch way up. Exhale, stretch way up. And down. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, stretch up. And down. Last one. Inhale, stretch way out. Exhale, stretch way up. And bring hands back to the heart. And relax. Things are starting to wake up. Let's do our one minute vinyasa. This time we'll go to each side twice, so just a little variation. Inhale and exhale, hands to the heart. And now gently push your palms together. For some people, this will feel like a stretch. For some people, not so much. But make it a friendly stretch. Stretch. Make the spine tall. Make, their, make sure there's space between your vertebra. No hunching over. And shoulders are down and relaxed. And now twist around to one side and breathe here. And come back to the middle. Twist to the other side, breathe here. Back to the middle, we'll do one more side, one more time each side, keep the shoulders down and the relax and the spine is really tall. Twist the first side, inhale. Back to the middle and twist to the other side and breathe. Come back to the middle. And now point the fingers away from the heart. And try to point the fingers towards the heart. Easier for some people than others. Just do the best you can without hurting. You don't want to strain. Ask the fingers together. And stretch your hands away up front. This should be a friendly stretch, friendly stretch. And now just bring the fingers way up overhead. Relax those shoulders. You can get higher if you relax the shoulders. I wiggle a little bit to get my spine loose. Inhale. Tilt over to one side. Breathe. Back to the middle and up. Tilt to the other side. Breathe. Back to the middle. And now bring hands back to the heart. Let the hands down and relax. Yeah, that stretched a lot of things, didn't it? Okay, we're going to get going with our um, spinal flexes. So hands on the knees. You're sitting forward in the chair. We don't want to start out like this. We're going to just sit up tall to start. And then 
We're gonna do three minutes at your own pace. So with curiosity, how can I get more flexibility, more space, more movement into my spine without hurting, without pinching or pain? Okay, so inhale forward and exhale back. Get as much movement of the spine as you can. Gently. And as fast or as slow as your body wants to go. And see if you can keep the chin more or less level. So we can focus on engaging all the rest of the spine. And change speeds anytime you feel it's appropriate. Notice what's going on in the body. Notice what it feels like in the shoulders. Upper back. Lower back. Hips. And if it's really hot in the room where you are, you'll probably have a little bit better flexibility. Hopefully you don't have a air conditioner blowing directly on you, that would probably be too much for this. On the last minute, curious about how my body and move the spine, make more space between the bones. Get the bones off the nerves if they're pinching. Get the spinal fluid moving. Almost done at your own pace without forcing, and that's three minutes. Good job, everybody. Now totally relax. Relax, just rest. Notice the sensations. You probably feel something that's getting moving and be in all different parts of the body depending on what's happening in your body today. Okay, next let's put the fingers on the shoulders if that's comfortable for you. If they can't reach here, you can go like this. So shoulders are down, not up, shoulders are down. And we're gonna Inhale and twist to one side. And exhale, twist to the other side. Twist all the way without forcing. Inhale on one side. Exhale on the other side. at your own speed. If you come to a spot that sticks, stop. Ask your body how you can make more space there. Take a deep breath and continue without forcing. 
And often you'll find a way to dissolve that ticking spot. If you do it gently and with your mind asking your body how to do it. Notice all the stretchings going down your back into your hips. And come back to the middle, hands down and rest. These twisting motions are very important for getting the, the body in harmony. Where you have um, one part of the body on the opposite side. Very important movement. So that's why many um, programs have something of twisting in them. Just relax and breathe. And now we're going to do this uh, seesaw movement. So bear grip, which is hold the hands right in front of the heart. Shoulders stay down, not up, down. And we're just going to pivot like there's a, a post here. Pivot one shoulder up, and then, I mean, one elbow up, and then the other elbow up. And just slow, deep breathing. Try to keep your head center. Try to not move the head side to side. And then that makes you work those shoulder blades a lot more. Good, good, good concentration. Good correction. You can feel the difference, I'm sure. So here we are massaging our own upper back with our own shoulder blades. And then relax. Let the hands rest on the thighs and just rest. It's important to rest in between these moves. Okay, now the shoulder shrugs. So we're going to lift the shoulders as high as you can. The whole shoulder blade moves up and then drop. And inhale as you lift up. Exhale, drop. Okay, last one. Squeeze it up, 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 and drop. Relax. Now your neck wants to stretch. So let the chin come down to the chest and just roll your chin across the chest to one side. And then roll to the other side. Back and forth, slowly. Okay. 
And when you're finished, bring your chin down to the middle first before you bring your head back up. Now, some, some people will roll their head all the way around, but if someone has weak bones, osteopenia, that is not a good idea. Because you want, you want to be careful of those tiny little bones in the back of the neck. So that's why in this class, I just I ask you to roll your head across the front and come back up from the middle. Good. Let's do our sideways stretching. So bring one knee out to the side. One leg facing forward, one leg to the side. And the hand on the leg to the side, that hand, straight out front with the shoulder down. And the other hand, straight back, shoulder down. And you're gonna turn your head and look gently over the front fingers. Now pull the back hand back and the front hand forward, keeping the shoulders down. Squeeze the belly in if you can think of all those things at the same time. And you'll feel the stretching and twisting. Make it a moderate, medium effort. Shoulders down. This is actually a gentle neck stretch also. And now take the front forearm and place it on your thigh. And the other hand can go straight up. And you can look at the hand if that doesn't crank your neck. But make sure your neck stays comfortable. We don't want to crank the neck. And feel the stretch in your ribs. Make, making more space for your lungs. And the hand that's up, now sweep it down. I'm gonna grab the leg of my folding chair and put the other hand up and look up at that hand. This is the peaceful warrior pose here. And then sweep this hand back down and bring that leg to the front, and we're gonna switch sides. Our other leg goes up. There we go, and so the hand on the side of the leg is going out, that hand goes forward, other hand goes back. Make sure the shoulders stay down. Sometimes we're tempted to go up like this with that, like make sure the shoulders stay down. You're pulling the hands far apart from each other. One, one back, one forward. Gently look over the front fingers so you get a good, nice little stretch on your neck there. Engage the belly muscles if you can think about all those things at the same time. If not, just do as much as you can. Make it a medium effort and breathe. Make sure you're breathing rhythmically. If you're holding your breath, you're working too hard. And now bend the front arm with that forearm on the side. Opposite hand goes up to the ceiling. And if it doesn't hurt your neck, look up at that hand. Now, if this is hard on your shoulder, you can put your hand on your hip. But if it's okay for your shoulder, reach up. And just enjoy that stretch to your ribs. And I'm going to sweep this hand down. I'm going to grab the leg of my folding chair and I'm bringing the other hand up. Sit up and look at it. Being careful with your neck. And now bring this hand back down. 
And both legs forward. Oh. Marcel is enjoying the stretch extra. <laughs> okay, now let's do a careful forward bend. I'm gonna bring my knees apart to make room for my belly. I have a big belly. And now we wanna keep the spine long. We do not want to crunch the spine like this. We want to hinge from the hips. But these are my hips. I want to hinge like this. So I'm going to put my hands on my knees. Make my spine tall. Inhale. And exhale. I'm going to bend forward, bringing my collarbone forward and chin forward. Beautiful, Aisha. Perfect. Perfect. Just go as far as your body feels is a good, nice stretch. Bring your back straight as best you can. Hand, nice stretch for the lower back and hips. Make sure you can breathe. If you feel like putting your hands farther down your legs, without you can do that without rounding the spine. You can now hands back on the thighs, engage your belly. And push yourself up. Beautiful. Okay, time for final relaxation. So just relax back in the chair. Feel like closing your eyes? Close your eyes. If not, just soften your gaze. I'm relaxing my toes. Feet and ankles. I'm relaxing my toes, feet, and ankles. My toes, feet, and ankles are relaxed. I'm relaxing the calves, shins, knees, and thighs. I'm relaxing my calves, shins, knees, and thighs. My calves, shins, knees, and thighs are relaxed. I'm relaxing the hips, pelvis, and buttocks. I'm relaxing the hips. Alvis and buttocks. My hips, alvis and buttocks are relaxed. I'm relaxing the lower back, middle back and upper back. I'm relaxing the lower back, middle back and upper back. The entire length of my back is relaxed. I'm relaxing my hands, arms, and shoulders. I'm relaxing my hands, arms, and shoulders. My hands, arms, and shoulders are relaxed. I'm relaxing my neck and head. I'm relaxing my neck and head. My neck and head are relaxed. I'm relaxing my heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, and stomach. I'm relaxing my heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, and stomach. All my internal organs are relaxed. All my internal organs are relaxed. I'm relaxing my brain, mind, and thoughts. I'm relaxing my brain, 
mind and thoughts, my brain, mind and thoughts are relaxed, relax, relax. Now take a deeper breath in and slowly open your eyes, let your eyes close. And come back to the room. Okay. How's everybody feeling? Yeah, good. I was feeling pain before on my arm, but now I feel better. Oh, good. Okay. Is anyone having a cramp? They stretch too hard or anything? No, because probably I'm not doing it right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. So it's really nice to be with you. Thank you. Thank you, Lynn. I look forward to seeing you again next week. If you have any comments, please tell Amanda and she'll let me know. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, thank you. everyone. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.